building of primary healthcare nurse's office. A 40-year-old female patient diagnosed with upper respiratory infection was directed by his family physician to the nurse's office to receive an antibiotic in a form of a muscle injection. The patient knocks on the door, enters the office, and says to the nurse, Good morning. My name is Jason Manson. I was on here by my doctor to receive an injection of ambicillin. Good morning. I am a nurse and my name is Magdalena Lewandowska. Please let me see the doctor's referral letter and take a seat on the chair by my desk. The patient sits down and gives the note to the nurse. The nurse reads the referral letter and enters the patient's data into a medical documentation system on her computer. According to the doctor's order, you will receive 500 milligrams of ampicillin twice a day, every 12 hours for five days. I'm sorry, nurse, but I did not quite catch the frequency of administration. Can you please repeat that? It's important I'm clear on my instructions. Of course, you will be given an injection two times a day, every 12 hours for five days. Right now it is 8 a.m., so the next dose should be given at 8 p.m. today. Did you purchase all of your medicines for five days at a pharmacy? Yes, and I have them with me. Can I have them, please? I will check the expiration date and prepare the medicine. The nurse checks the name and the dose of the drug, the expiration date, quality characteristics, and then talks to the patient. I've checked your medicine and everything is okay. Do you agree to receive the medicine at the dose prescribed by your doctor? Yes, I agree. Are you allergic to any medicine? Have you ever received ampicillin? No, I'm not allergic to any medicine. I received ampicillin five years ago and I didn't have any side effects. Okay, I will make a note of this. Now I will get the medicine ready. Can you please lay face down comfortably on the couch and pull your pants right down so I can give the injection? The nurse washes her hands and prepares the necessary equipment. Gloves, container with the medicine, vial of 0.9% sodium chloride to dilute the drug, sterile gauze, solution for skin disinfection, a disposable syringe, disposable needles for diluting and administering the medicine, and a container for discarding contagious needles. Afterwards, the nurse puts her gloves on and prepares this medicine diluted in 5 milliliters of isotonic salt solution in the appropriate syringe in accordance with aseptic rules. In the meantime, the patient uncovers his buttock and lies down on the couch. Now I am disinfecting the skin area where I will make the injection. The injection will be given into your right buttock. You may feel a slight pinch during the injection or just right afterwards. The nurse examines the patient's skin to make sure there is no rash or suppuration. Afterwards, she selects an area of the skin for injection, sprays it with disinfecting solution, waits 30 seconds and with an energetic movement inserts to a depth of 3 quarters of the needle. She checks that she did not accidentally disrupt any blood vessels and then slowly administers the medicine. Once finished, the nurse removes the needle at a 90 degree angle and puts pressure on the punctured skin with a sterile gauze. The injection is complete now. Please hold the gauze in place so that the medicine is absorbed and the skin will close and not bleed. The nurse organizes the equipment used, segregating it into regular and biohazard waste. She removes her gloves and washes her hands. The nurse notes in her documentation that she administered an injection and then speaks to the patient. How do you feel? Is everything okay? Yes, everything is okay. Thank you very much. I barely felt a thing. In that case, you may sit up and get dressed. If you don't feel well or notice any side effects, such as rash or diarrhea, please come back to the clinic or go to the closest healthcare provider. If everything is okay, I will see you in the evening at 8pm. The patient adjusts his pants and gets up. Thank you. Goodbye.